An introduction to Gypsy Jazz Rhythm. Hello, I'm Michael from Gypsy Jazz Australia and my website is www.gypsyjazz.com.au and I set up a Gypsy Jazz music store because I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to get their hands on the good guitars and the picks than it was before. They just weren't accessible in Australia at all. But more importantly, I really want to be part of the growth of this style of music in Australia. It's a lot of fun and I just love playing it. Um, so part of what I'm wanting to do is also build a bit of a bridge for people that are interested in the style of music, considering it, just to make their journey a little bit easier than I must admit I found it. Um, it took me a while and a few wrong turns to get there. Um, so I have started up a beginner's guide to Gypsy Jazz, which is a, it's a blog on my website, but I'm also creating a series of videos with to go along with that, just to help people out and just to get them started and, um, and even just to give them a bit of an idea of what it's all about at the end of the day. The rhythm with Gypsy Jazz is the foundation. If you can get a handle on the rhythm, you're playing Gypsy Jazz. You can join in the jams, you can play with other people. And if, you're, if you've got a good steady rhythm going and you, you know your way around the, um, the chord shapes and the positions on the neck, um, you'll be welcome in any jam and you'll be, um, you'll be picking up the lead from the best players and playing with players that have got a lot more experience with you because all, everybody I'm playing with has a lot more experience than me. Um, I only just started playing Gypsy Jazz myself at the, in um, March of 2020 and, um, and so I'm certainly um, no expert and please see this as just an introductory lesson to, to rhythm um, and you know, there's people like Noosh Rosenberg online, um, there's a bunch of them who will give you a much more comprehensive and better lesson on, on the individual aspects of it but what I find is sometimes you get a little bit lost and I just want to concentrate on four main types of rhythm to learn to concentrate on at the beginning of your of your gypsy jazz journey and if you can learn these and learn the chord shapes and position on the neck um, you'll be able to rock into a jam and, and and find your way through at least for some of it um which is the main aim of this this particular lesson um la pomp is your most famous um uh, gypsy jazz style of rhythm it's played on the swing songs at various temples and um and rhythm's a lot of fun in gypsy jazz like don't look down on it. Like um, I, I always start up a session and play a lot of rhythm during my um during my practice, just because it's fun. And if I'm just sitting there relaxing, I'm playing rhythm. I'm not even looking at the individual um strings, you know. Um, La Pomp is is broken down into two bits, and um and probably the best song to ever listen to is maybe Minor Swing. That is your most famous um gypsy jazz song, most famous gypsy jazz swing song, and um and it'll give you a good idea of what's going on. And you can listen to the different innuances, but if I was you starting off. I would just play everything straight. Forget about upstrokes, all that sort of stuff. Miranda taught me La Pomp in two sections. She'd maybe practice them both for an entire week before my next lesson and before we could move on to the full, to joining the two together. She broke it down into a woof and a crack. Woof, crack. Um, so woof. And when you do the woof, she wanted me to, to do a trampoline, bring the hand up so you're ready to do the crack. So. So for something like minor swing, it's, um, I'll just play that one just quickly. You can hear how percussive that second strike is. Really listen to replace the, the drums. So with that, I've really just played three chords and um, one of them had the same position and um, one of them had the same shape and the other one was a slightly altered shape just to string down. You cannot get easier than that. Um, but to get that sound, honestly, I reckon it took me, it took me a good couple of months. Um, always good to have a good solid big pick. Um, I've got Gypsy Jazz for sale, Gypsy Jazz picks for sale, but just something that's solid that's going to get that, that sound for you does help a lot. Um, I have another um, one on an introduction of Gypsy Jazz guitars give a bit of an idea why the guitars sort of make their sound they do, but just grab any guitar and get started. That's my recommendation. So that's La Pomp. Um, the ballads are beautiful. You need to listen to C2 Survey. That's just a haunting song. Um, we play Claire de Lune quite a lot. There's a whole bunch of ballads. Those ones start with more, more of a reiki stroke and then finish it with that percussive stroke. It's 
a beautiful song. That's a, that was played a loon, but kind of stuffed up the ending. But so that's your ballads. Um, the bossa nova, bossa nova wasn't sorry bossa rhythm. The bossa nova wasn't around when Django was um was with us. That didn't come out to the nineteen forties. But as things as time went on, um, the gypsy jazz players realised that it, that the rhythm and the style of music fit very well with um with our genre. And so um people like um listen to Stock by Rosenberg. Listen to Noosh Rosenberg in the background playing his rhythm for, for Sephora and Bossa Dorada, just two classics. If you're jamming at my place, we do Bossa Dorada once every time. I just love that song. Um, it's a little bit more complicated with the rhythm. I'll play it a bit slowly and then I'll sort of speed it up. But you will sort of get the feel for the percussive sound. I'm sure there's somebody on the internet breaking down a little bit more, but it's... music so that that's sort of done a little bit faster than that usually um have a bit of a listen to it on the internet but for something like Bossa Dorados real fun I, I love that song um waltzes is the other other type of um rhythm that's probably worth talking about um, there's a very well-known song called um, Bistro Fada by Stefan Rumble. That's a great one to listen to if you want to get the feel for the waltz. But waltz, but it is that one, that one three sort of time where you've got the dum 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 dum. Um, so for something like that, um, you're generally doing the, the similarly with the low stroke to begin. <laughs> these types of rhythms I've kept them just to their purest form that's all you will need if you're going to go along to a jam and they will love you for it there's so many different ways to embellish it up there's alternating bass notes there's up strokes there's there's chromatic movements you can do just concentrate on getting pure straight rhythm ready and you'll be ready to jam and and I really look forward to playing with you and if you've got any questions email me it's michael at gypsyjazz.com.au um, you know, if you're wanting, for instance, like a chord chart or something like that, or even some directions on how to get the Django Fate book. There's Django in June that's got all the um, all the different tabs for, the, for a lot of the songs. Um, yeah, have a good look at those and um, and do let me know if you need a hand. But, um, but I do look forward to jamming with you sometime. And thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing you around the tracks. Bye now.